happened Tony Mida hello everyone it's Tony so finally after their performance on King their amazing performances on King their I think honestly eye catching uh time on Kingdom to that extent the guys at ATs are finally finally back with a first ever comeback since Kingdom with their mini album series cut titled the uh 80s zero fever and this time part number three and with it comes a brand new title of a track, a brand new slew of songs from the super talented guys of the 80s. And this title track being titled J'ai Déjà Vu. So Déjà Vu, if you didn't know already, is a French term for like essentially literally translating to already seen. So it's like, you know, kind of like getting a double take back on something. And from the teasers, from the concept photos, I am super excited for this one. This is definitely giving me a bit more of a sexier vibe, but at the same time, a kind of like really fresh vibe at the same time to that extent. And I cannot wait for it. I'm super, super excited. Now, in the meantime, Aishis has been busy. They did recently release a special collaboration with King jo Kim Jong-gook saying, uh, what is it? Wanna go to the sea, if I recall correctly, the title in English. It's really cool, really awesome. And the vocals from both Kim Jong-gook as well as AT's absolute next level. I highly recommend that you check that out. But at the same time, if you want to check out my reactions to any of their Kingdom performances, as well as their previous releases with the, the most notable, I mean, most recent comeback being for Firework. And then obviously you got some of their, like, um, there's the A Tiny song, then there's Thanks, Inception, Wonderland answer also out there. So if you want to check out any of it, you'll find it all in the ATs plays down the box below. Hopefully you do check out a video. But with that being said, I've talked long enough. So I think it's time now that we get to deja vu. But what I'd love to know from you guys is oh okay, I started the video already. <laughs> what I'd like to know from you guys is who your ATs deja vu uh bias is. For me, it's usually often uh uh young uh Hong Jun, but uh I am open to other people. I am definitely open to learning about some new people. Uh, I think the new one that I'm kind of like learning about Hong uh, is not Hong Jun, but then not San either. It's um, is it? I don't know if it's you, you know, it's whoever does the really nice like high vocals. I think it's you know, but I could be very wrong. And if I am, I do apologize. I'm still trying to learn everybody because, or is it Jung Ho? Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Let's let, let I'll let you guys handle it for me. But you, let me know in the comment section. Without further ado, though, finally after a long time, H is back, so we can't butcher this up any more than I already have. So let's go. Uh, let's subtitle. What the subtitle? Oh, it's English auto generate. Ooh. Oh, oh, I love the exoticness. Oh, I'm doing, I really like the the red hair, by the way. I've seen, so I, they've been a lot, they've been doing a lot of kind of, um, prep for this comeback, whether it be like uh, the Deja Vu, uh, performance preview. And then there's also the teasers. They've been sent through a lot of teasers and I've like stayed away from all of them, like the plague, because I want to give you my most genuine reaction. So this is my first ever time seeing any of this minus sometimes seeing the photos but i have not listened to any of the songs so i'm very very excited i don't know what to expect Ooh. i really like this exotic and very different from firework is that sad oh wait what's up yo sad we have kind of like matching hair styles okay I didn't know that this hairstyle was in, okay? I really, I really, I really, smooth, alluring vocal tone. And having a bit more, same, but it has a little bit of airiness. The leather, the plastic pants. Why does everybody look better and better? Do you hear the double, the background tone? The, you know, like a bit of deeper tone. Yo, Kingdom does some crazy stuff with all the groups because after all the groups, they just seem to like hit a new level of just maturity and just dark and sexiness. You gotta love it. Yeah. What? Like, 
what he's building. The background vocals? Ooh! Oh, what is this? Oh! Do I disapprove? Okay, guys. No lie, but who think? If I have this very wrong, I do apologize, but I'm assuming that the middle person right now is Sun. So the build up here first. It's a very cool, like very abrupt and very like in your face uh, transition to, I guess, what is the pre chorus, if not the chorus right now. But this dancing section here, does anybody find that it reminds you a lot of like, say, Exo Kai? Mm -hmm. Like, San and Kai, for me, seem to hit very similar in their dancing. And that's a big compliment, honestly, because I think Kai is a really talented dancer, a very talented performer. But it's just, like, to me, they're, maybe the maybe it's the body structure or something. To me, they, they, they kind of, like, seem a bit similar. Like, the dance here? Ooh, like, that's Doom? Oh, yeah! Okay, so... I really hope that that's uh, Yunho. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But this is the other guy with the amazing vocals. I am so sorry. I'm I'm not so familiar with the 80s guy. Let me know if you're an tiny in the comment, please. Ooh, there's the real sexy toe. I love this. <laughs> Hongju is coming in hot. You know when they does that haha <laughs> right at the beginning? The rapper about to spit some beat. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> this is very different from what he usually does. I'm gonna be very honest. It's a lot softer and a lot kind of like toned down, but it has its own swagger with that like it's almost like an evil corrupted feel but Oh, yeah, I like this. Oh the transition A transition so clean. Oh, yeah I didn't even know that they had a second rapper. Oh, I like that Oh, the whisper! Oh. Their transitions, by the way, are so clean. They're so clean, this song. There's no abruptness to it. It just smoothly goes into the next thing, even though it sounds to be, I think, said a little bit abrupt. Ooh. I love the addition, like, the synthy electronic piano. What is this dance move? Showing a bit of shirt too, okay. I want you so bad, it is. Oh, I love how there's a lot of electronics here. With oh, he's getting a high note. You're trolling me. Where's the high note? You're trolling me. They've done this before to me, and ATs doesn't disappoint. I'm hoping the high note comes at the end, but that's a very big kind of like tease. I I know ATs is not title is not said ATs for a tease, but you know this do be a tease here. I I actually quite though like it because it really leads you into something. It leads you expecting something, and they're completely doing something opposite to it, so it catches your attention. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's the hala hala. Oh, it's like the evil. Wow, they're really bringing it full circle. Coming back to like last uh concept, like with the evil selves and everything from like hala hala and answer and all that. That's cool. Yeah. 
This dance performance is gonna be insane, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh. Oh. Da 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 Ooh. I want you so bad. Oh, the multiple vocal tones here is so beautiful. Oh! Oh, dude! He doesn't even sound like Sahonjo to me. I'm so not used to this type of vo like style he's approaching it. No lie. Whoa, was that a dream or something? What the heck happened? They didn't fulfill the hard for me. Oh, pain. Oh. So they've been spoiling a lot of this like hour. Oh, it's like a rewind effect that they have. It's broken? No. Okay. ATs, uh, I have to rewatch this. There's no doubt about it. I have to rewatch this at least 10 more times because ATs absolutely killed it. Like, there are some certain AT songs. Like, for me, it's Wonderland and Hala Hala and uh, perhaps Say My Name. At this point, I'm facing all the old ones. Uh, <coughs> sorry. That really, really stand out to me and always come back as, like, those go-to AT songs that I listen to. And I think that Deja Vu is going to definitely take a spot up there because this style, this concept, this song has beautiful vocals, but that has a lot of kind of like instrumental flair, has a lot of like kind of just subtlety to it that it just like leads in so beautifully into the next section, next verse that I can't stop getting it in my head. And this, the chorus like, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Like, I think that with the music video concept just makes me loving this already. So I can't wait to replay this once I upload this for you guys. So hopefully you guys do stay tuned for more ATs. As I mentioned, you can find their Kingdom performances, their collab with King Jong Kim Jong-Gook, their collab with Knowing Bros, everything of the sort uh, ATs related. You can find all in the description box below in the ATs place. Hopefully do check out the video. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Gab Samnida. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or something you want to talk, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, I've been telling you, and you can say, oh, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Annyeong!